Welcome to Space News from the Electric Universe, brought to you by the Thunderbolts Project at thunderbolts.info. In the last few years, several of the comets discovered by amateur astronomer Terry Lovejoy have provided astronomers on Earth with dramatic and unexpected displays. In 2011, the perihelion of C2011 W3 brought it to just 140,000 kilometers above the Sun's surface. Prior to the encounter, scientist Carl Battams of the Naval Research Laboratory wrote, We have here an exceptionally rare opportunity to observe the complete vaporization of a relatively large comet. Yet after nearly one hour in the intense radiant energy of the Sun, the comet emerged intact. After the event, Carl Battams wrote, I expected a diffuse dust tail to survive for several hours before fading away, but not any kind of nucleus. I was wrong, 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 and I have never been so happy to be wrong. Last week, scientists using the dark energy camera fortuitously captured an image of another Lovejoy comet, C2014 Q2, at its current distance of about 51 million miles from Earth. The Universe Today website reports on this image. The comet's center is a ball of ice, roughly 5 kilometers across, and the visible head of the comet is a cloud of gas and dust about 640,000 kilometers in diameter. It seems almost surreal that the standard description of a comet as a quote, ball of ice, remains unbending even in the light of definitive falsification. All of the comet nuclei photographed to date have revealed dry and rocky terrain, with only one comet, Temple 1, even revealing light patches of frost, which were apparently deposited on the nucleus by the comet's coma. The Rosetta mission to Comet 67P has revealed a desiccated nucleus whose terrain is cratered, pitted, complexly layered, and defined by planetary features such as fields of boulders, wind-streaked rocks, and even sand dunes. Like the theoretical dark energy or dark matter, the imagined cometary ice remains invisible, supposedly buried under the comet's surface. Based on the astonishing Rosetta findings, mission scientist Dr. Nicholas Thomas recently told the ScienceNews.org website, Rosetta has blown the dirty snowball idea out of the water. But it appears that science media have yet to receive the memo. On its own, this remarkable new image of Comet Lovejoy should be sufficient to force a reconsideration of the dirty snowball theory. The fine filaments extending from the comet are confined and twisted. The material behaves nothing like gas and dust dispersed in an electrically inert vacuum. It does, however, match the appearance of an electrical discharge in plasma, as documented in decades of laboratory experiments. The filaments are aligned and draw together. Parallel electric currents have a natural attractive force according to Ampere's law. As a comet approaches the inner limits of its orbit, accelerating through the Sun's weak electric field, it will begin to discharge to the plasma surrounding it, producing the familiar bright coma and tail. This explains the mysteriously rapid changes astronomers have observed in a comet's plasma tail. In 2013, Scientists using the Subaru telescope in Japan observed significant changes in the tail of the Lovejoy comet C2013R1 in a span of just 20 minutes. Principal investigator Jin Koda said of this discovery, As we analyzed the images, we realized that the tail was displaying rapid motion in a matter of only a few minutes. It was just incredible. The SpaceDaily.com article states, the reason for the rapidity of these changes is not well understood. As mentioned in the previous Space News, a new scientific paper has confirmed yet another prediction of the electric comet theory. In the fall of 2014, the Rosetta Orbiter's ion and electron sensor measured a high level of excess electrons, surprisingly close to 67P's nucleus. The paper reads, IES has revealed the presence of greatly enhanced electron fluxes and densities, which appear to be associated with cometary ions created near the nucleus. Electron fluxes within a couple of hundred of kilometers of the nucleus greatly exceed solar wind electron fluxes. The paper continues, these electrons must be partially confined to the vicinity of the nucleus by an ambipolar electric field. 
there is probably also some compression of the electron gas near the nucleus due to a magnetic field pileup. The electric currents and their magnetic fields that confine gas and dust in the vacuum of space can no longer be ignored. The medium in space through which electric currents travel is conductive plasma. Although electric currents in space were verboten for generations, in recent years, astronomers have had no choice but to acknowledge their importance, as seen in recent NASA reports on the electric currents connecting Jupiter and Saturn and their respective moons. All matter is electrical in nature, so it makes sense that electrical connectedness drives the universe. For continuous updates on space news from the Electric Universe, stay tuned to thunderbolts.info.